Good morning, grade 10s. Um, I will be uh, setting up the first couple of pages of your review, meaning I'll do like a question of each section so you see how to do it. And then you will, oh, excuse me, you'll finish it off. All right, so let's get down to it. Find the slope of each line since it's on a graph. All I have to do is count. Rise over run. Slope equals rise over run. Rise, we remember, is up and down. Over run is horizontal. So go to either point. doesn't matter which point you start with. I'm going to start right there. So I had to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down seven is negative seven. One, two, three, four, five. That is positive five. So my rise is negative seven. My run is positive five. So that's my slope. Now, remember, that could also be written if I went on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, positive seven. 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. It could also be 7 over negative 5. And you can write it as negative 7 fifths, with the negative right in the middle. They're all the same thing. Find the slope through here. Well, we remember that slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, so I need two y's and two x's. Two y's, one, two. Two x's, one, two. And then you just set it up. Um, negative 18 minus 20 over negative 13 minus 7. Negative 18 minus 20 is negative 38. Um, negative 13 minus 7 is negative 20, which gives me... Two negatives give a positive. 38 over 20 simplifies to 19 tenths. And there's your final answer. And you'll do that four more times. Find the slope of the line. We remember that y equals mx plus b. The slope is right there when y is isolated. That is slope-intercept form. y isolated? Yes. What's the number with y? Or with x? Sorry, what's the number with x? 1. So the slope equals 1. y is isolated there, so you should be able to figure it out. Turn the page over. y is isolated? No problem. y is isolated? No problem. y is not isolated, so isolate y. I will show you on this one. If I bring that x over here, it becomes negative x. So now I have y equals negative x plus 3. y is now isolated. What's the number with x? Same thing here. Isolate y. Graph each line. You could do tables of values for every one of these. Or you could put it into slope-intercept form. All right, so these two are easy. Y equals negative 1. Well, Y equals negative 1 is right there. Y is always negative 1, so it's a line that goes right here. X is negative 4 right there. X is always negative 4, so that line goes right there. Um, now this one, Y is isolated, so I can use slope-intercept positive 3. Slope is negative 2. Down 1, 2. Right 1. Or up 1, 2. Left 1. And there's your line. You'll be able to do all the rest. Isolate, isolate, isolate. Try to get y by itself. 
find the x and y intercepts of this equation. Well, we remember x intercepts is at x comma 0. y intercepts are at 0 comma y. There is an x value, there is a y value. There is an x value, x, x. There is a y value, y, y. Sub them in there, get the values, and put them on the graph and connect the dots. Find this value of y when you have this slope. So, erase that. Well, I think I'm going to stop there, guys. You can stop there, too, at 167. And then Friday's video, I'll set up 168 and 169 and 170. And uh, this review will be due Sunday. Now, I know it's a review, but I'm not going to collect this one for marks. So tonight, do uh, just 165, 166, and 167. Um, or 150, 151, and 152. Okay?